Hey there, I'm Rina, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your iPad and make it look aesthetic. If you're new to my channel, I create videos on digital planning and iPad productivity and creativity, so subscribe for more of this content. I'm going to show you step by step how to create this pink theme, but you can use the same method to create different themes. So firstly, this wallpaper is one that I custom created and you can download this exact same one from the link in my description. Next, if you want to use Smart Stacks, which is being able to scroll through your widgets, you'll want to update to iOS 15. Then you'll want to install the app Widgetsmith. This is a great widget app that allows you to add different size widgets and customize them and add them to your home screen. So I'm just going to scroll down and add a large widget. And then you can scroll through and pick different photos, time, date, weather, calendar. So I'm going to pick this one and then you can go into aesthetic theme and then you can pick different themes in here. So the one I'm using is called powder. And then I'm going to tap through other options like location and time format. And then once you're happy with the settings, you can just tap on this and then you can tap to rename. And then save. So then you can see you've got all your saved widgets here and then you're going to go back into your home screen. So then you can just long press on the page and then this plus button should come up. And then when you tap on it, scroll all the way down to widget Smith and then scroll through until you get to large and then tap on add widget. And then I'm just going to long press on this and tap on edit widget and choose the one that I created earlier. And now I'm going to create some smaller widgets. So I'm going to go back into widget Smith and go to small widgets and then tap on add small widget. And then I'm going to pick the clock and then go into the theme and choose powder. And then I'm going to go back and then rename this widget once again and tap on save. And then on my home screen, I'm going to long press and tap the add button and then go back into widget Smith and add a small widget. And once again, I'm going to long press on the widget and tap on edit widget. And then I'm going to pick the one that I just created. And now I'm going to go back into widget Smith and create the date widget. To rearrange your widgets, you can just long press on the widget and then drag it where you need it to go and then let go and tap on the screen again. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a smart stack. So I'm going to go back into widget Smith and I'm going to add a large widget. And you can also make photos out of widgets. So I'm just going to select photo. I'm going to skip the theme and go into my photos. And I'm going to choose this quote. And then I'm going to go back and rename this. And then back on your home screen, you can long press again, tap the plus button. And I'm going to go into Widget Smith, and it's basically the same process. You're going to add the widget to your home screen. So to create a smart stack, all you have to do is long press on the widget and just put it on top of the other one. And then just tap anywhere on the screen and you should find that you can scroll through your widgets. And you can add as many widgets to the stack as you want. You can also do the same with the small widgets. So I can just drop this one on top of the other one and then tap anywhere on the screen. And this is now a smart stack. To set up this reminders widget, you'll first want to have set up some reminders. So I'm just using the default app that you probably already have in your iPad. And then you can just add list and choose the color and set up your list. And then you can add different items onto your list. And then you can go back into widget Smith and I'm going to add a medium widget and then I'm going to go down and pick reminders, choose my theme once again. And then under lists, you'll want to make sure that it's ticked. So if it's unticked, you just want to tick it or if you don't want to include it, you can untick it. And then I'm just going to go back and rename this again. Now back on the home screen, I'm going to long press, tap on the plus button, go to widget Smith, add medium widget. And I'm just going to long press on this edit and choose my widget. And you see your items on your list will appear on your reminders widget. You can also make widgets out of other apps. So I'm just going to long press on the page again, tap on the plus button. And you can see here, I'm going to tap on this widget this is the Calm app and you can scroll through and see the different widgets that they have. So I'm just going to add this small widget and you can see when you tap on this widget, it will take you to inside the app. 
not all apps have widgets. So if you're scrolling down the list and the app isn't on here, then it means that you cannot turn that app into a widget. Next, I'm going to show you how to customize your app icons like I've done here. So the app that I'm using is called Color Widgets. And within the app, there is a tab called Icons. So the one that I'm using is light pink. So you can just tap on the one that you want and then tap on Save Pack. You can choose to install everything or deselect all and just pick the ones that you want and then just tap on Install Icons. After the advert's done, just tap on the cross button and then tap on Download Icons and then tap on Allow, Close and then just go back into your home screen and go into your settings and then go to your profile downloaded and a pop-up will come up to prompt you to install the icons. Tap on install, install again, and then you'll find all the icons on your home screen. So then you can just long press and rearrange them. With the custom icons, it will put a new custom icon onto your home screen. So you can just long press the original one and tap on remove app and remove from home screen. Don't delete the app, just remove from home screen. These icon packs have icons for all the popular apps, but if you use an app that's not on the list, I'm going to show you how you can customize the icon for that app. For this, you'll need the app shortcuts and you likely already have this on your iPad. So you just have to follow the steps that I show you and you don't need to worry about all the other complicated things shown in this app. So you're just going to tap on the plus arrow and then tap on scripting and then tap on open app. And then you're going to tap where it says app and choose your app. So I'm going to choose good notes and then you're going to tap done and you can see it has appeared here under all shortcuts. And then I'm going to tap on the three dots and I'm going to go into the details, tap add to home screen and here you can rename your app and tap on this icon to change the photo. So I'm going to choose photo. You can browse around for different app photos, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to choose a random photo and then add. And you can see this has added it to my home screen and I'm just going to drag it and rearrange it to where I want it to go. And when you tap on the icon, it will just open up the app as normal. So good note is where I use my digital planner and you can see that all the hyperlinks are still functional within the app. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel for more digital planning and iPad content. I'm going to be doing a tour of what's on my iPad, so subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.